Good day. My name is Dululu Shachanini and I am the program manager for In School Youth Gender Empowerment Program at the National Department of Basic Education. The, the National Department of Basic Education continues to capacitate you young people on matters of concern that you need to know and how to prevent them. Today we'll speak briefly about bullying, types of bullying and its effect. You can use this video for information sharing, but also use it as a conversation starter in your classrooms or groups. According to UNICEF, bullying is any form of forceful behavior that occurs in an intentional and repeated manner causing another child to feel hurt. It can take multiple forms such as spreading rumors, threatening, physical or verbal assault, excluding someone from a group to hurt him or her. There are several types of bullying that we need you to know and understand. First one is physical bullying. An example of that is when you hit someone, when you punch or kick another learner. Verbal bullying, it includes name calling, spreading lies about someone, mocking that person, labeling them, and saying things about their physical appearance that are not true. Social bullying, it includes ignoring or leaving someone out intentionally or excluding them from a group. Psychological bullying includes giving someone nasty looks, you stalk that particular person, you manipulate that particular person to think that bullying is a fabrication of their imagination. Lastly, we have cyberbullying, which includes mocking, harassing, or intimidating someone using text messages, social media networks, or hacking into someone's account. Sexting, that is sending nudes or semi-nude messages using digital technology is also considered cyberbullying. Effects of bullying are likely to affect your mental and psychological uh, behavior. And this may result in lower academic achievement, fear of asserting yourselves, or even you dropping out of school or even considering or committing suicide. You can have a significant negative social impact on the victim, such as withdrawing socially and feeling lonely. Bullying affects your self-esteem and your self-confidence as a victim. It can make you to lose your interest in your schoolwork and make you to lose interest in the things that you usually use to like and perform on. And you cannot even answer questions in the classroom. You may also seek acceptance from wrong friends in the wrong places. That is talking about drug users and even joining gangs. You may also have panic attacks and you get to be anxious and depressed and being very sad and that may result you in you thinking about committing suicide lastly victims may avoid certain areas of the school or neighborhood because they want to be absent at school what to do when bullied or when you see someone being bullied. Number one, never fight back. Rather, walk away from a bullying incident and go and find help. 
or telephonically call someone for help. Never encourage the victim to strike back. It just reinforces the cycle of violence and the belief that this solves problems. Calmly tell the bully to leave you alone. Report the bullying to the teacher and to your parents or to any adult that you trust. Avoid joining in, sharing or laughing or even taking pictures or videos of the bullying incident. Support the victims. Sometimes the best way to help is to be a friend to the victim. Now I want to briefly talk to teachers. Teachers, they also need to take reports of bullying from learners very seriously. They need to refrain from leaving children to sort it out for themselves. But also they need to decide together on how the bullying behavior will be addressed between the victim and the perpetrator, but also within the school community.